Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and I'm just doing a little uh, behind the scenes here. I'm going to be setting up, starting to get ready to start filming the next Made Easy series. And what is that series going to be? Well, you guessed it, it's Recording Drums Made Easy. I've posted a few things on Facebook recently. Um, and I'm just starting now to get set up. We're probably going to have this product ready probably mid-late April is when this product will be done. I think you guys are really going to dig it. So one of the first things I'm uh, doing here and I will do a full YouTube video on this to show how to do this and how important it is. But the one thing I'm doing right now is I'm just bunch bought or purchased a bunch of new uh, drum heads. I'm going to refit this Pearl Export Kit with a bunch of new uh, Evans heads and, uh, and tune them. And one of the things that uh, makes um, drum recording so crucial is having a good set of heads, newer heads on the drum kit that are not all beat to hell. Um, that are not all full of duct tape, so on and so forth, and I'm um, also tuning them properly. And I will do a full video on how to tune them, and I have a couple of different types of tuners I'm going to use to demonstrate. But capturing it right at the source is a huge thing uh, here. Uh, and for anyone watching this that records live acoustic drums, you know what I mean. So this is kind of behind the scenes. i got a table set up here. I'm going to start changing over to the new uh, Evans uh, heads. Uh, refitted the entire um, drum set with both top and resonant bottom side heads for like less than like 120 or 30 bucks which is great so these are a far upgrade from the uh, stock heads that came on the kit directly from Pearl um, much thicker head more plies just all around better sounding so that's one uh, one way to uh, to ensure you get a good drum sound is to have new heads and tune them <laughs> so here's kind of the beginning stages of uh, what the kit's going to look like. i got to set it all up. It's just a Pearl Export kit. Um, it's my personal kit. Not a real expensive kit. You know, part of this series is to show that you can take a mid-price drum kit. This drum kit brand new is less than a thousand bucks. Um, and with a good set of heads, tuning properly, a good player, and good recording techniques, you can get a professional drum sound. And this is all going to be done in a room that doesn't have real tall ceilings. As you can see, we have maybe nine foot ceilings here, not very tall, not much different than being in a spare bedroom in your house. Although we do have some acoustic treatment in here. So anyway, so that's kind of just the behind the scenes. I'll shoot more of these behind the scenes and throw them up on Facebook to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I've got all kinds of gear laying around. We're going to be using the uh, PreSonus Studio 192 and the DP88 as our hardware, which you can see here on the on the couch here in boxes, still haven't unpacked them. So this is day one of setting up and getting ready for recording drums made easy. It's going to be super, super cool, and I look forward to, uh, to getting this product out for you guys. And uh, leave some comments below and let me know what you think. And if there's anything you want to see from a behind-the-scenes point of view, just let me know, and I'll be sure to get that out to you. Okay, so we will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks, guys, and thanks for being patient, and uh, happy mixing, happy recording. Take care. Hey guys, welcome uh, to day two of behind the scenes here of, of um, setting up to start recording, um, hopefully in the next week or so, the new Made Easy series, Recording Drums Made Easy in PreSonus Studio One. So uh, the last video I was uh, talking about tuning and replacing all the drum heads and I'm on to the last drum here, the kick drum. I spent an awful lot of time yesterday um, <clears throat> tuning heads using a couple of different types of drum tuners, which I'm going to do some videos on and show you guys, and it will definitely part, be part of the Made Easy series. Tuning is super important. So the last kick, the last drum I'm going to be tuning here this morning is, uh, is the kick drum, obviously. And uh, so I picked up this new tuner. Uh, let me show this to you quick. And I'll do a review on this at one point on YouTube. Um, it's a little dark in here, I know. The lights are dim. I don't have all my lighting set up. So this is called the TuneBot, which is an electronic... Turn it on a little for you. Electronic drum tuner um, which I stumbled upon their website not too long ago and I really like it and this is something that if you are um, an engineer or someone who records drums at home um, whether you're a drummer or not a drummer and you're recording other drummers this is a wonderful easy to use uh, tuner to really um, make a complete novice at tuning drums um, you know to be able to, to tune your drums I mean one of the most important things about recording a good drum tone is tuning um, and we're going to talk a lot about that. But um, yeah, so I picked this up and I've been using this. And it took a while to wrap my head around it. And uh, TuneBot has a website where they have a whole um, section on how to tune and recommendations for tuning for different size drums and stuff. And we'll get all into that later. It's a really cool product, a really cool website. Um, you know, and the tuner's a little pricey. This was about a about 100 bucks. But I got to tell you, if you do a lot with drums, worth every single penny. Uh, prior to that, I was using... Um, 
I was just using, I, you know, I usually would tune by ear, but a lot of, but you know, when you're doing recording, I want it to be a lot more accurate than my ear. I was using the drum dial for a long time, and that works. Um, but the TuneBot is a lot more accurate, um, and there's a lot more features in the TuneBot where you can save uh, your tunings in, uh, in a memory section of the tuner. So if you have different drum kits, different types of toms or snares or whatever, and you want to have different tunings for each drum, you can save those, which is a really cool feature, where the drum dial is just pretty much a mechanical, old-school way of doing things. Um, and I think it's really cool. So that's what we're doing. So the, today is going to be the kick drum. I'm going to tune that this morning and start setting up the kit. As you can see here, uh, yesterday I spent uh, a good amount of time retuning all the drum, all the toms and the snare. Again, using all Evans heads. Um, I changed both the batter and the resonance heads, which again we'll talk about why um, in another video. But top and bottom heads, all coated heads for the top, clear for the bottom. Um, sound really good, much better than the stock cheapo uh, Remo heads that came on the kit when I bought it, um, which is you know obvious you're going to get you know you're going to get better uh, you're not going to get great drum heads when you buy a kit you know a full kit as, as one you know system you're just not going to get that so again this is a pearl export kit not a real expensive kit beautiful honey amber finish um, we'll be setting these up today got all the hardware out i uh, got uh, dw hi-hat stand dw kick pedal um uh gibraltar um heavy duty snare stand um, and a Gibraltar uh, rack system, which we're going to be using for this series. So, yeah, this is going to be exciting. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these behind the scenes as I'm kind of going along. So everything is kind of a mess right now. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you that. And please excuse the mess. There's garbage and crap all over the place. <laughs> so, anyhow, so this is uh, the, the beginning of day two. It is super early. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to finish uh, tuning uh, this kick drum and start setting up the drums today. And then we're going to start to uh, start to mic things up. I'm going to start breaking out some of the PreSonus equipment, the Studio 192, the DP88. Uh, we're going to be using that with Studio One. And this whole series is going to be re about recording drums in Studio One. And we're going to do uh, it's going to it's a made easy series, so it's going to be for really for beginners and intermediates for the most part. But we're going to do a, a couple of different mic techniques. We're going to do um, you know like a like a Glenn John's like four mic technique, <clears throat> and we're also going to do. A larger uh, mic technique, you know, where we're probably using 10 or 12 mics, um, all done on the Triad Orbit uh, modular microphone stand system, which go out and check out my YouTube video. I just did a review on that awesome microphone stands. Um, and we're going to be using some Audix microphones, again, very affordable mics. And we're going to get some killer drum sounds. So anyway, I will, uh, as I set up these drums, I will put um, some more footage together um, for day two. So I will see you guys all soon. Okay, continuing here on uh, day two, uh, the drums are finally set up now, which is cool. Um, working all morning to finish tuning, as I said a little earlier, and get everything set up. So now we're just in the, the, the final stages of kind of tweaking in the drums, setting them up, getting good position on them. <clears throat> and I just have to uh, mount this ride cymbal. I have to go get some more felts cymbal felts for the stand, so that's why that ride cymbal's on the ground. So we're using all uh, Sabian cymbals. Um, a 20 inch ride, uh, Sabian crash, Sabian hi-hats. Again, nothing special, nothing fancy, nothing nothing overly expensive. Everything fairly affordable, mid-priced, not entry-level equipment, but mid-priced stuff. Um, again, same with the drum kit, mid-priced drum kit. You know, we don't need a $5,000 drum set to get great drum sounds, and that's what part of this video is to uh, is to show. So, uh, again, everything is kind of set up, all kind of tuned up. We have the Evans heads on the toms. We have a 12, a 13-inch tom, 16-inch floor tom, 14-inch snare, uh, 14, I think these are 14s, 14's hot, 14 hats. They might be 15s, I'm not sure. Um, and again, CBN crash. We're gonna have the ride over there. And so this is gonna be kind of neat and I will maybe do some filming of once I uh, wake up a little bit more. It's still only about 7.15 <laughs> a.m. here so I don't wanna start playing drums yet. I already got a splitting headache. But anyhow, I will uh, maybe film uh, a little bit of me uh, tuning them and dialing them in once, we, uh, once I get to that point a little later today. 
Um, for the series, though, I'm not going to be the one uh, drumming. I'm actually bringing in a, a good friend of mine, an, a, an amazing drummer. His name is Brian. He's going to come in and help me. I, I can play drums, but I'm not a pro drummer, so to speak. I'm really a guitar player who can play some drums. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to be the one behind the drum kit during this series, but I will be the one showing us how to get and capture this drum kit so it sounds really good and so again it's kind of sitting off here in this little kind of cove area again not real tall ceilings you know we're going to do you know the four mic technique the 10 or 12 mic technique and uh so that's it so i'm starting to clean everything up now and kind of put the studio back together so we can start uh start this journey together this is going to certainly be the most involved uh made easy product that i've done thus far uh, and so I'm real excited about it. Hopefully you guys are going to like it. I think you're going to like it. I think this is going to come out really good. And so I'm trying to uh, to, to to take, uh, you know, care to make sure that I don't um, miss anything, that I kind of keep this thing uh, simple enough for the average beginner uh, to do, um, but also give you enough content so you can really achieve great drum, drum sounds. And, that, and that's going to be the key here. So, um, again, got the table out of here. The studio is starting. Uh, I guess it's still a mess, right, guys? Um, but yeah, we got everything rolling. We got everything rolling, and uh, we're making progress. And uh, this is uh, the end of, well, maybe not the end of day two. We'll see. I may come back and, uh, and film a little bit later. Um, me just kind of using the camera mic here to kind of uh, get the drum set kind of dialed in. Maybe I'll show you that footage. Maybe I won't. We'll have to see. But anyhow... Uh, signing off. We'll do some more behind the scenes as we move forward. As we start breaking out uh, some hardware, I will uh, show you that as well. So uh, cool. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this. I'll see you soon.